Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's lesson on the basics of pharmacodynamics. This lesson discusses the various types of drug reactions, recognizing the signs and symptoms of adverse reactions, and how to manage them effectively are essential skills for every healthcare professional. Understanding these concepts is key to ensuring patient safety, enhancing therapeutic outcomes, and minimizing adverse effects. Let's get started. There are two main types of drug reactions, the therapeutic response and adverse reactions. The therapeutic response is the intended effect of a drug. It signifies the medication is achieving its goal, such as lowering blood pressure or reducing inflammation. Adverse reactions are unintended effects of a drug. There are different types of adverse reactions, like side effects, allergic reactions, and toxicity. Side effects are unintended reactions that can range in severity from mildly annoying to life-threatening. Many side effects are predictable based on the action of a drug and its interaction with different body systems. There are many common types of side effects, including gastrointestinal issues, central nervous system effects like dizziness, mood changes, and cardiovascular effects. Gastrointestinal issues include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. For example, morphine is known to cause constipation. Central nervous system issues include dizziness, drowsiness, or insomnia. For example, the antihistamine Benadryl is known to cause drowsiness. Mood changes include depression, anxiety, irritability, euphoria, and excitability. For example, the corticosteroid prednisone can cause mood swings and irritability. Cardiovascular effects include changes in blood pressure, heart rate, and rhythm. For example, pseudoephedrine or Sudafed can cause an increase in blood pressure. Allergic reactions occur when the body's immune system mistakenly identifies a drug as a harmful substance and reacts against it. These reactions can range from mild, such as a rash, to severe, like anaphylaxis. Common mild to moderate symptoms of allergic reactions are typically skin reactions. Severe allergic reactions can lead to anaphylaxis. Skin reactions include urticuria, hives, itching, skin redness, and swelling of the face, lips, and eyes. For example, sulfonamides, a class of antibiotics, can cause various skin reactions like rashes and hives in mild cases. Some drugs can cause anaphylaxis, a severe and potentially life-threatening reaction. Symptoms include wheezing, difficulty breathing due to swelling of the larynx, drop in blood pressure, rapid, weak pulse, severe skin rash. The patient may also experience vomiting or diarrhea. Anaphylaxis must be treated immediately, as failure to treat could result in death. We discussed the emergency response to severe allergic reactions in another lesson. Cumulation occurs when a patient's body cannot metabolize an excreted dose of a drug completely before the next dose is given. As this happens over time, the drug collects in the blood and body tissues. High concentrations of many drugs can create toxicity. Drug toxicity occurs when a patient receives too large an amount of a medication, resulting in the drug blood level being too high, or in quantities that exceed the body's tolerance. These can be at therapeutic and non-therapeutic doses. The symptoms can vary widely depending on the specific drug and body system involved. However, symptoms can include nausea and vomiting as the body is trying to rid itself of the toxic substance, altered mental status, visual disturbances, muscle weakness or rigidity, and changes in urine output. Drug toxicity must be treated immediately as failure to do so can lead to multi-organ failure, shock, and death. Immediate interventions for adverse drug reactions include stopping the medication causing the reaction, administering appropriate emergency treatment if necessary, such as epinephrine for an allergic reaction. The patient then needs to be closely monitored for changes in their condition. Long-term management involves adjusting the patient's treatment plan, as well as educating the patient on recognizing early signs of adverse reactions. It is important to consult with the patient's provider in order to manage adverse reactions. In summary, understanding the types of drug reactions, their signs and symptoms, and strategies for managing them is critical for providing safe and effective care. The types of drug reactions are the therapeutic response and adverse reactions. The therapeutic response is the drug's intended effect on the body. Adverse reactions are a drug's unintended effects on the body and include side effects, allergic reactions, and toxicity. 
Remember, patient education and interprofessional collaboration are key components in the effective management of drug reactions.